It's no secret that one of the best ways to elevate your existing home decor is with a fresh look of paint. Now, a bedroom more than ever is one of those rooms that you may want to frequently update and also create a really relaxing environment when you wake up in the morning and when you go to sleep. Now, there are some colours that are off bounds here, but today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the best Dulux bedroom colours that are perfect if you want to create a relaxing, restorative and calming feel in your bedroom. So let's get stuck in. So today I'm going to be sharing a real mix of Dulux colours. I'm going to be talking about um, their colours for 2023 and also some, some shades that are super on trend and that I'm loving in bedrooms right now. Now World Wonder is Dulux's colour of 2023. They have a colour every year and it's always sort of a um, prediction of perhaps what is to come in the interior world and to set, set the tone of that. Now World Wonder has a beautiful golden tone which is inspired by the natural world which is really in fitting with lots of um, interior decor schemes right now now this color could also be described as heritage yellow now heritage yellow is what i describe as more of a mature yellow in an interior it's really on the rise um, and i think we'll be seeing a lot more of it as we go into next year as well and i do think it's a strong contender for sage green you might think that yellow is a little bit off bounds in um in a bedroom but actually it's really really nice if you mix it with the right colours. Now lilacs are really in at the moment as well so you could mix it with some lovely lilacs, sage green or if you want to keep things really neutral introduce some creams, whites and perhaps some earthy greens into the equation as well. Now Egyptian cotton is one of the most popular Dulux shades there are. Um, I know that as a fact, I write lots and lots of blog posts about Egyptian cotton and I share it in a lot of my videos. Now, Egyptian cotton is that perfect off-white with yellow undertones and because it does have a yellow undertone, if you have a north-facing bedroom, it's going to be perfect in there as well because it's going to help to counteract the blue light that is associated with any cold light that comes into a north-facing room and it's going to bring some warmth into the equation, which is definitely what you want in a bedroom. Now, Egyptian cotton is such a versatile and much-loved colour because it goes with so many different colours. You can choose to keep your colour scheme pretty neutral, um, earthy neutrals look great, sage greens, olive greens, browns, and browns are especially one of the new colours we're going to see a lot more in interiors over the next year, um, so definitely keep your eye out for that. Um, but also it will go with more bold statement colours as well. So lilac definitely seems to be coming the new pink in interiors and dusted fondant is a really nice shade if you want to experiment with some lavender lilac-y tones in your bedroom now i am a really big fan of lilac um it's definitely not been to everyone's taste over the last few years a lot of people find it quite antiquated but it's coming back with a vengeance and it looks really good when you pair it with other soft pastels such as sage green and soft yellows which which wild wonder would work with really well um i love it in a bedroom but i think the key here is make sure you're layering with different colors and um, so don't just use that same lilac throughout to create that visual interest you want to introduce it with um you know sumptuous throws pillows cushions just to get that really cozy inviting feel that you do want to create in a bedroom and I've got to chuck a pink into the mix here. Um, blush pink is one of my favourite pink colours from Dulux. It's a little bit feminine, it's pink, but it's not so overbearing and it's not Barbie pink. So it's a really versatile colour and also if you do have a north facing room, pink undertones can be a better alternative to a yellow. Um, it still brings that warm sunny disposition but you don't have the yellow tones that go with it. Now blush pink is always a favourite in my eyes. It pairs so well with neutral colours, but you can balance it really well with bolder colours such as navy blue. And don't forget to introduce some black accents because it's going to define the space and bring a touch of modernity with it. Now, when I talk about adding a black as an accent, I only mean it in a few well-placed areas. So that could literally be anything from your door handles, to sockets and switches, to a vase on a bedside table, and even to accent accent legs on a chair. Now grey remains a really popular and versatile colour for a bedroom. Personally for me I'm not a huge fan of um, grey across all walls however as a feature wall it makes a really nice addition to a bedroom and it stops it from feeling too cold but it can still bring a mature and elegant um, look to a bedroom. I like chic shadow as it's a good baseline grey. Um, I describe it as a true grey, it's a mid to dark toned and it can be a better alternative to just using a standard bright white. It looks really good if you have panelling on a feature, feature wall or even a half panelling look as it will bring that definition. You might then want to choose to pair it with an off white or a bright white which is going to provide a really nice contrast. Now the trick to using grey effect 
effectively in a bedroom is you do need to bring in up to two other accent colors into the space to create a warm feeling. Now you can easily do that in a bedroom um, through decorative accessories, light fittings, but of course through your bedding, your throws and the pillows that you're using. Now over the last sort of six months, I've become super fond of baby blues and I think there is going to be a time for baby blue in the next year. I love it because it brings a really soothing, calming aesthetic to a room. I think it might overtake sage green um, and what I love about it is yes it does carry a cool hue but it can be really good if you have a sunny south facing room while you're wanting to try and neutralise the bright light that comes into that space. Now, what I love about Baby Blue is it's just so calming, restorative. It has a slight coastal feel to it, but you don't necessarily have to have a nautical themed um, interior to appreciate it. Tonally, it works really well with other blue colours, um, but if it was me, I would go for pairing it with light sage green tones and, of course, black accents because I want to bring that definition and play on that coastal feel a little bit as well. But of course I've got to chuck a sage green into the mix here. Dulux have quite a few um, nice sage greens. I'm a big fan of Averly Olive and I've mentioned it in um, a couple of my other videos before. It's such a beautifully calming and restorative colour um, and I particularly love it when it is used on a half wall panel in feature wall. Um, use it on the bottom half to ground the space and then choose an off-white um, or a bright white um, above it is just going to draw the eye up and it's going to provide a really nice balance without the green being overbearing in the space. And lastly I wanted to mention one more shade that I'm really really enjoying at the moment and that is Dulux Heartwood. Now Heartwood is a bit of an unusual shade, we don't tend to see it too much in interiors. It's a plum based shade and it's got a real rich deepness to it that I absolutely love for a bedroom as I could imagine creating a really sumptuous and inviting feel in a bedroom space with introducing similar tones for your bedding, throws and pillows. I'd also think about introducing some metal accents into the space, particularly something like brass. It's going to provide an even warmer, more inviting feel and I just absolutely love it for a bedroom. What I love about paint is you can change it as often as you like if you don't like the colour. It's a really affordable and quick way to update your interiors um, and it's definitely something you can do, you know, yearly, seasonally if you want to. Um, I'm personally a huge fan of sage green at the moment as you can see behind me um, but I am starting to change what colours I want to introduce and I'm definitely leaning towards that terracotta plum based route um, in the future for some of my projects. So I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. I've also linked a blog post below which has got loads more colours um, from Dulux which I would recommend for use in a bedroom. Um, if you've got any other questions about colours um, or inspiration, tips to that you, you might need for your own home, please leave me a comment below and I'll come straight back to you. But I do hope you enjoyed watching today's video and I'll see you on my next one.